So this is going to be the unboxing for the uh, Pioneer uh, reference graded uh, XLR cables. Um, I ordered them on the 15th, they arrived on the 25th, so they've taken 10 days. Um, back store um, only had the one in when I um, ordered these, um, so I uh, opted to get them both at once because I needed two. Um, because my room's like just exactly about 10 foot and three three meter cables are just under 10 foot um, literally um, and I needed like an extra meter a meter and a half to get to my mixer from my speakers because I've got my speakers going from the back of my room um, behind me to my um, DJ booth area that I'm uh, building at the minute um, but yeah these will be connected up to my uh, professional mixer later on uh, down the line but for, for now I'm connecting up to my DDM4000 uh, Bay Ringer mixer um, so yeah this is the unboxing for uh, the XLR cable uh, from Pioneer the 3 meter um, version which there's only one version of it out which is the 3 meter so I had to get two of them um, now back store um, the place that I bought these from um, they sell them for £75 uh, each, so I paid £150 for them. Um, they're normally retailed on, on DJ Kit or anywhere else at uh, um, £179 each. So I've actually saved £208 by buying these from there over uh, any other websites. So these are a really good um, supplier for DJ gear, studio gear and just overall any other kind of gear you know what I mean so they really are good so make sure if you're buying equipment make sure you do your uh, online shopping on stuff first because you can grab a real good buy but anyway this is the unboxing for the uh, Pioneer uh, XLR reference graded uh, 3 meter cable I have two of them so I undone this box earlier because I couldn't boss use my key anyway yeah and uh, another thing with uh, backs is that they package very, very good. Like they, they really package their products really well. It's in these uh, sort of puffed up bags, and they really do package their um, equipment very well. And if you're spending a lot of money in that, you want to make sure your gear is really well packaged because uh, delivery companies and that, some of them be careful as they can, but obviously you, you, you can you can get these um, you, you can get these mishaps and stuff um, where they drop them and stuff so if you have this extra bit of packaging in there like that um, then it's more protected and then when it gets gets to you less likely that you're gonna have to send it back if it's if it's damaged and stuff so I, I recommend them because they, they they really package their own products very well when they send them out to delivery but anyway, they um they always give you freebies and stuff. This is my second pen now because I've all my equipment's come from them at the moment. They give you a pen and stuff, so yeah. Um, uh, some shipping information. They give you a fancy little sticker and all. So yeah, it's pretty cool, but I wouldn't use it. It's just nah, don't need it. Right, it's still a bit more of this uh, packaging. Let's see. Down the other, down, down the side. So yeah, and now I'll just turn this around. But yeah, they um, they put it in this box like this. So yeah. But anyway, here they are. So let's get these out. So here comes the first one. It's in this uh, shrink wrap stuff. You know. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm going to be reviewing the other three, other two cables at some point also. Um, so this video will be the first one of three. So yeah, I'll take the sleeve off. Um, just some Japanese to avoid dangerous. It's just to do a suffocation, basically, to make sure no one uh, the kids uh, suffocate. But why would you have a kid um, get hold of this kind of stuff anyway? You know what I mean? Just make sure you throw that. You make sure you throw that stuff in the bin. So so you, you avoid that. But. Just opening them, they look amazing, man. They look really good, like wow, you know. As I said, they're, they're nine point eight four feet, so just under ten feet. And I ideally needed about twelve foot uh, to be ideal to only buy the one. 
but I've um, I've opted to buy the two because the extra length might come in handy one day anyway. Then, but just the way it is, really. Like my room is only ten foot, and I needed about twelve feet of cable, so I've I've bought another one also. And I don't know why that the information of the pioneer things come a bit loose. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, back down it goes. Right, but yeah, just looking at them, look, they look really fancy. I mean, they are 179 quid retail price. So, and I said I've bought, I bought them for 75 quid um, each. So I've saved a hell of a lot of money on these. They're only 358 pound, if I can think right. Um, when you buy a pair of these but you would only buy a pair if, if 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 you just need the extra length basically if three meters is not enough um if it was me i would have liked them to do a four meter cable that would have been more than enough but you know what i mean three meter to most places as i said i'm running my speakers from the back um of my bedroom um and my my studio well my booth area is at the front so Eventually, I'm thinking about buying a subwoofer for underneath my uh, DJ table. Um, so that'd be front firing with the speakers with the high and mids firing from the back. So I have the lows coming coming straight at me, and then the high and mids coming from the back. So basically, these are um, yeah, the the they're, they're really good. So yeah, this box and stuff is just like yeah, I'm not going to show you this, but yeah, um, it's a cool box that they package in. That's what I've received from them every time. Oh yeah, this bit. Look at Yeah, that's the um, that's the uh, the first box done. So we've, re we've revealed them. They're a very nice. Um, as it says, reference grade cable um, by Pioneer and stuff. Obviously, Pioneer um, says on here the information says it says RCA analog cable. Uh, so yeah, they do three types. I was thinking that can't be right there, but no, they do three types of cables. They do the RCA, the digital R, the digital RCA uh, coax cable. Uh, so that's just a single cable. Um, if you've got digital mixer and stuff, uh, digital amps, they they allow the digital cables. Um, as I said, you can um, go into your mixer through digital with left and right, well, first and second uh, CD decks uh, that support the digital cables, which is the CDJ two thousand and the nine hundreds uh range and the series from them they 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 support the uh digital also some of the older pioneer um cdj's uh support the digital cable uh, connection um basically like you go into your mixer through the digital it sends a one signal through one cable so you don't have to use two cables which is an rca normal rca but digital's like basically just they use use one cable to send the whole signal and it's meant to be a better signal to the um to the the source where you're sending it to, but then after that you then connect another um digital if you if you're going through digital through the out on the uh, mixer or or whatever else you're using um straight to like if you want high end sound and stuff then you've got to connect a, a digital out also um straight to an amp or something that supports that kind of sound output when you're going through digital and that you'll get better sound and stuff if you if you go to a digital source um that supports like 24 bit uh and all that which these newer decks the cdj 2000 nexus 2s and the djm 900 nexus 2 that now supports 24 bit um 96 kilohertz um, range. I, I'm buying the uh, CDJ 2000 Nexus 2s next month, and um, I'm going to wait because I, I believe that Pioneer will eventually do the DJM 2000 Nexus 2. Now, if, if they don't, then I'll be very annoyed because 
I don't see why they would uh, bring the CDJ2000 Nexus out to and not bring the, the DJM2000 Nexus because it just won't be a complete item for me. I've always wanted the best and I've saved and saved and saved for my gear. Um, I work hard and I will buy the best because I just want the best and that's what some people are. Right? I'm not stuck up. I haven't got a family that has all the money in the world so I've had to save up for all this myself. This is why it's taken me a lot longer to get into all this music and stuff. But I'm hopefully trying to get close to being away with it now. So I'm getting there, closely, slowly getting there. But I know that I'll get there in the end. But anyway, yeah, so that's a good look at it. If you, yeah, a good look. And yeah, I'll just open them up now, show you them up. There's no actual seal on them by the looks of it. Just straight, 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 open up. Sleeve comes out, some information in there as well, and yeah, that's just the cable. They use Nutrik connectors, uh, nice uh, Pioneer uh, sheath on there, like a heat, heat, a heat like uh, sheath, whatever it's called, I can't think. And then they got like really nice cabling, like around, really nice cabling around them. Uh, they're meant to be very shielded and stuff. With 99.9.9, .9 whatever it is, copper coil cable. Um, very high end. Um, these Nutrik connectors are meant to be the best you can get or something. But yeah, gold plated uh, actual connectors inside the Nutrik connectors. So they, oh, solid signal basically. So you've got your whites and stuff, your left and right. You've got white and red um, signal. So white and red. For your left and right through to your your source that you're going into. Yeah, that's the uh, the red one as well. So I'll do these ones here, and then yeah, and it'll come out. And then yeah, these uh, are where they're coiled and stuff. They just want to. Uncoil. They're they're really like really good. My uh, my DJE two thousand uh, in ear headphones are like the same quality cable as these. They they like just they're just tangle free cables. They're really really good. Like fucking as I said, the the length of these they literally they 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 go from my room point to point. So I needed the extra bit of uh, cable to run them to my. Uh, to my mixer and at the minute I'm going to be connecting up to my uh, DJ e, DJM oh sorry DDM 4000 mixer I'm getting confused because I deep down want the mixer now from Pioneer but I'm going to have to wait until about November for that but yeah I'm getting my decks next month so I should be doing a review on that I'm, this is my first review by the way so might not be the best one but I'm still showing you the cables um, as best in depth as possible and to show you what they are and that so you get a best uh, view of them and stuff um, but yeah this is the first part of three videos the next one I'll be doing the um, digital um, RCA leads which are two meters so yeah um, if, if you like this video and that give me a thumbs up and uh, Come and subscribe to my channel because there'll be a lot of uh, there'll be a big run of uh, music based uh, content on my uh, YouTube channel now because um as I said I'm starting out hopefully uh, with with making music is the priority but I will be doing uh, odd videos of um, DJing as well once I've got the complete setup um, that probably won't be until about the the end of the year maybe middle of next year after. Uh, because my whole heart at the moment is going to go into the production side of things so my YouTube channel is going into music now uh, there will be no more um, gaming videos or anything I'm, I'm going to probably start up another uh, YouTube account eventually specifically specified for anything different than music so yes um, as I said if you like this uh, video and like this, uh, this uh, unboxing give me a like and subscribe 
and there'll be plenty more coming as time goes on. Thank you.